tour in Kenya promoting a movie she just recently launched known as Olaido. The movie features a lot of Nigerian actors as well as Kenyan actors and the reason for the mixture of actors you might ask is all to bridge the gap in East Africa as well as West Africa in the film industry. Welcome on set, Infinity. Thank you. First of all, let me ask you a question that I actually <laughs> asked you off record. Okay. Have you learned any Swahili words so far? Yes, yeah. I uh, now I know San, Asante. Yeah. Sawa Sawa. And there's this one, Mamba. 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 <laughs> all amazing, all yeah. amazing words that you've actually been taught. Yeah. Asante means thank you. Sawasa means everything is okay. Yeah. And Mambo is a greeting, which is, you know, basically hi. Well, little by little with time. Yeah. Trust me. Welcome on set. It is actually, thank you know, amazing you. to be with such an amazing personality on set. Pleasure is mine. Yeah. So, first of all, start by telling us a little bit about yourself. Who is Infinity? Okay, my name is Infinity Eberi Ohakwe. Uh, I'm a filmmaker, trained filmmaker, like I'm a movie producer and an actress. I'm a Nigerian from the Igbo tribe of Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it is an amazing journey that you've had, especially yeah. in the film industry. So tell us Thank you. what excited you about film and tell us about, you know, your first film and how you ventured into the into, film industry. Okay, um, naturally, I'm a storyteller. Yeah. I am this kind of person and I'm a very creative person. Like, I'm this kind of person that will walk into this room and be like, Get me a camera. Just get me one camera. Let me just do something, you know. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe like I'm new in Kenya here. Mm -hmm. I'll just like experience one thing. I would like like to tell tell the story. This other part of the country, this set of people, they really need to know about this. So, what really motivated me was uh, the storytelling out of it. Mm -hmm. I, I the storytelling part of it. Yeah. yeah, I'm a good storyteller. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, with the good storytelling that you've always had, um, being such a creative mind, recently you launched a movie known as Olaido. 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 Yeah. yeah. So tell us a little bit about the movie and what it's all about. Okay. Um, Olaido is a story of love. And then with a, a touch of culture in it, you know, as a lover girl, I'm, I'm a lover girl. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I decided to tell the story in a different way, like to mix uh, glamour and uh, culture and tradition. That was that's why I had to involve uh, Peter Doshi, yeah. because when he come to Nigeria, he is known for culture. Mm -hmm. You understand? So Oledo is all about love. It's all about culture. It's all about heritage. Yeah, yeah, the Igbo heritage. Yeah. And it is an absolutely amazing movie. Thank I'm, you. I'm, you know, I'm so sure. I, I actually can't get, um, you know, I can't wait to get my copy Thank of it you. and watch Thank through you. it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so, you. So, you know, being an amazing movie, it is yeah. definitely star studded by Nigerian actors, yeah. but it has a few Kenyan actors. Yeah. So why do we have, you know, the mixture of actors? Okay. Um, it all started from uh, the second movie I did. You know, I've always wanted to to stretch out my hand. Not just everything must not be about Nigeria. Yeah. We are Africans and we are one. True. Yeah. yeah. Same color, same everything. So I've always wanted to like do something out of my country because everything must not be about Nigeria, Nigeria. So luckily to me, when I was filming my, I think it's my first movie or my second movie, that was way, way 2018. Mm -hmm. I got this opportunity as someone brought one of the artists to my set and was like, ah, she's a lady like you, yeah. feel comfortable, she's a foreigner. And um, as a traveler, I am someone who doesn't joke with uh, visitors, with, with foreigners. Mm -hmm. So I, I was like, okay, this is an opportunity for me. Let me bring her in. Yeah. Then after the job, she did well. Yeah. So when I started preparing, when I was on the pre-production uh, level of this one, I was like, why don't I call her again? Yeah. You know, I called her and uh, she, I was like, can I also get someone from Tanzania? She said, okay, okay, I don't know, but so she got the other artist and I don't know. So later I understood that uh, the person is actually Kenyan. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, good, it's fine. The most yeah. important thing is that we're doing the movie yeah. and we have foreigners in yeah. it. So after this, I would really like to come to the country through yeah. this means. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, 
the movie as great as it is yeah. it made its premiere in Kenya yeah. why Kenya and why did it why did you opt to actually make it premiere? I knew you were going to ask that <laughs> okay the initial uh, plan was not really to premiere here first mm -hmm. I was to premiere in Nigeria first mm -hmm. But when I told the artist, she was very excited about the movie finally being released. So, and from day one, we've already had this agreement that we're going to premiere here. But she started making the arrangement first, even before she got her date for us here. Okay, I was like, maybe that's just the way God wanted. Let me now come over here, premiere first, get to meet people first, and then come back to my country and premiere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. It wasn't like I planned premiering first. I've always wanted to premiere here, yeah. like to also get to know other people, other great filmmakers. But because Kenya do actually has good filmmakers. Yeah. Yeah, it's just that, mm -hmm. you know, it's as if Nigeria is there, yeah, there, yeah, there, yeah, but they have yeah. good. I watch their movies a lot mm -hmm. on Netflix and the rest. So yeah. that is it. It was not really planned this way, yeah. but it happened this yeah. way. And you know, that pushes us right into the next question, okay. which is basically, you know, Nollywood being such a huge industry, especially in Africa and the world at large. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you know, one Kenyan star um, gets to feature in the movie, and that is Mishi. Mishi. Why, why Two, Mishi actually. Exactly? Two, actually. Mishi so, and Glamour Pam. So, so, what made you opt for Mishi and Glamour Pam? That, just like I said before, mm -hmm. I've already worked with her. I met her in Nigeria on yeah. one of my sets. So mm -hmm. she did well. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like, since I've always wanted to stretch out my hand, let me yeah. just call her to be part of this. So I will use this medium mm -hmm. to really come into Kenya and explore. Yeah. Yeah, because we have a lot to do mm -hmm. here. Yeah. We have a lot. We have a lot. So the Nigerian film industry is known as Nollywood. Here in Kenya, we call it Riverwood. 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 River. River. Riverwood. For, for river. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. So, I'm sure you've watched a number of Kenyan movies. Like yes. you said, you've watched a number of Kenyan films. Yeah. How would you compare it with Nollywood? That is Riverwood and Nollywood. How would you compare the two? Oh, uh, I can't say, really. All I know is that everybody's doing well. Yeah. Because uh, uh, on Netflix, I don't want to start mentioning the movies I've seen, mm -hmm. but they are actually doing well. But the difference is, to me, there are no much number of people venturing into it, mm -hmm. unlike mm -hmm. Nolly, uh, Nollywood. Mm -hmm. because in Nollywood, it's like entertainment is our second life. You understand? So I don't know. Everybody's doing perfectly well, if I'm to say. But I just feel that more people need to come in. Yeah. More money needs to be pumped into it so that it will, you know, come up. Not like a few people. A yeah. lot of people can actually come and do. Mm -hmm. And be, that was actually how Nollywood started. Right now, every day, in almost in every home in Nigeria, mm -hmm. there's a filmmaker. Yeah. There's an entertainer. Mm -hmm. You know, I just feel that the difference is loosening up. Yeah. We Kenyans need to like loosen up, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. on entertainment level, especially movies, because we have good stories in Africa. Yeah. We need to tell our story. Yeah. We need to tell our stories. Well, I tell you what, yeah. you back at home who, who is definitely following up with this interview, you might be wondering what Oledo is all about. Well, I tell you what, how about we have a look at the trailer of the movie yeah. and see some of the brilliant works that Infinity has been doing. <laughs> you have been chosen by the entire community to be the queen, the wife of the Igwe. My emotions. Me towards another way. Your coronation is only a few days away, and the lady chosen by the community to be your wife has already been groomed in the duties of a queen. What are you going to do about you? The gods are going to show me what to do. All I do is the child your wife is carrying. Trying to have been here for three days and not even a word from my husband to be. I'm concerned, as a man, about this foreign king. Do you know the magnitude of what you did? Everyone in the community is saying you want to sell the community. You see, my prince, I'd like you to understand that. By the way, uh, you're not the king yet, remember? No! Can you please just tell me what's going on? This is not a good joke. It's very dis tasteful and disrespectful. Do I look like I'm joking? Osita! And sooner than later, the Manson finds out that Hoyle is where the heart is. Gonzo! 
touch me! Kichuako ni mzuri. We rat. Yani we your witch or any. Is something wrong with your head? Because I love her. Okay? I'm sure you're mad with everyone else, my prince. First, we have to investigate this. First, this is the throne. Now it's the woman I love. I will not have it. What? <laughs> you are just a coward. Yes, I became a man of my own, and guess what? I succeeded. Well, you're not being a prince. What are you? What a trailer. I mean, <laughs> after watching all that, I couldn't help but put a smile on my face, especially yeah. after seeing Mishi represent us with some Swahili and vernacular language. I mean, it seems like it's going to be a very, <laughs> very enticing yeah. movie. Infinity, amazing work that you're doing. I've loved the, the trailer. Thank you. Thank well, you so much. Yeah. So, do you get complaints from, you know, people from Nigeria or as well as Kenya, the few people that you've interacted with, that um, a few renowned actors are taking all the jobs away? Okay, yeah, it is an everyday something. Yeah, it, yes, that's good. Thank you for this question. Yeah, um, a lot of people, they complain because uh, as an investor, everybody wants to invest and make money. And how do you make money? By getting these faces that are known already. It's take, I don't know, not so many people want to really like to invest on, on known faces. So I think I am also that filmmaker that really like or will really want, uh, I've been doing it, giving other people the opportunity. Like, come on, having Mishi in my movie, without Mishi, I, I'm, not, I'm just saying that the movie would have still been wherever but then i had to give her that time that opportunity especially when i notice she is actually good yeah. so i get these complaints every day and it breaks my heart because i feel like if i have the whole money in the whole world people yeah. need to be given opportunities there is a lot of talent there is a lot of young talent out there they need to be given this opportunity so it will less other minor crime in our society mm -hmm. you understand i get the complaint a lot even right now if i open my dm for you oh my god especially after i did this job yeah. if i open my dm give me a chance give me a chance i'm trying my best but then i can't do it alone we need more money to do more movies yeah that is it infinity very well put right there, you know, very <laughs> well you. said. But on to, you know, a very um, sensitive, um, you know, question. <laughs> and it's about the Kenyan actress, that is Mishi, who's featured in the movie. the movie. Well, recently she was arrested by the police, allegedly for not paying, you know, a certain amount of bill at a popular club here in Nairobi. Yeah. I saw that. You saw. What is your take on all that and how do you react to all that? Honestly, I just don't know how this whole thing happened. Okay. I was ready. My movie was ready. I called her. She said she can handle this. Let's do this. And we did the premiere. It went well. Then after some day, uh, like a day or two, this whole thing started. I just don't know. Yeah. I just don't know anything about it. Like as a matter of fact, I've not even spoken to her after for like days now to know exactly what is happening if uh, it's just all about the drama mm -hmm. or is it for real for real for real and, and you know as a foreigner I don't know anything at least my name was not mentioned the, my movie name or lady was not mentioned I don't know I don't want to, I don't want to ask too many questions to you know I just don't know anything about it's her country she can yeah. handle it that's amazing but it has nothing to do with myself or my movie yeah yeah. I mean, that's amazing. And all you can do is wish her all the best and hope yeah. that she goes, you know, she gets to clear She'll her name fine. as soon as She'll possible. Be fine. Well, you know, apart from Mishi and the other Kenyan actor that you've talked about, are there any other Kenyan actors that you'd want to work with oh, in future? I can't wait. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to work with uh, Ilia Franklin. She's an amazing actress. I've seen her movies. Yeah. And right now, she's my friend. Mm -hmm. Ilia, Sabrina. Then, uh, a lot of them, but right now, Ilia, Sabrina, who again? I wouldn't know. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's this lady. I've I've always been a lover of uh, Lulu, mm -hmm. the the one that did Plan B. Yeah. Lilu Hassan, something like that. Mm, she's a filmmaker, yeah. Yeah, I was mm. with them, I was with her the, on the last AMVC year when she won an award and that. So I can't wait to work with her. Yeah. Like, I love people that that actually know what they are doing. I can't yeah. wait to, actually, I've not met with her. Then Kate is also an amazing actress. I can't wait, I, I am here for so many reasons. I want to do a lot of collaborations. I need yeah. to work with a lot of people and we just need to start flying. The music industry for my country have really expanded. So I need the movie 
<laughs> aspect to start doing a lot of collaborations. Yeah, that brings me to the show I am planning right now. Permit me to talk about it. It's a kind of uh, tour. It's still about Oledo. Mm -hmm. So I'm bringing uh, people, mm -hmm. my artists. You know, normally if I'm to premiere my movie, I should bring my artists. Yeah. But because I wasn't here, I said to myself, let me come first, do this one, then plan to bring my artist. So I'm still doing, you can call it a second premiere. Okay. I'm still <laughs> doing another premiere. I'm bringing my artist, Yemi Black is going to be here. Mm -hmm. Then Daddy Chiwe Talago, the one you know, yeah. is coming live here to Kenya to do a tour about Oledo and Premier also. I'm already in love with Kenya. I yeah. may not go, Nigeria, so I don't see me again, no. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, that's amazing. And we can only hope that, you know, when they all come, we're going to be hosting them right here. We're going to be talking about the amazing, Hopefully. The amazing movie. Hopefully. I can't wait. I'm actually very excited. Especially yeah. my artists, mm -hmm. Chiwe Talago, I'm bringing them here. Mm -hmm. And Kenyans, please be nice to us. You have always been nice. Try to be more nice, okay? <laughs> we don't want drama yeah. at all. We don't Absolutely. want drama. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, in Kenya, it's quite common that you know when we're interviewing you know big personality like yourself mm -hmm. the common Thank question you. is um you know apart from filmmaking and apart from being an actress what else do you do on the side you know yeah i'm also an entrepreneur i do business but there's one thing about filmmaking filmmaking is such a jealous kind of business it mm -hmm. doesn't give you time for every other thing for any yeah. other thing it yeah. does not mm -hmm. but i'm trying mm -hmm. okay that's actually one of the reasons i'm fa lo falling in love with kenya because i've seen one or two other businesses yeah one or two <laughs> other the businesses land of opportunities yes yeah. one or two. so i'm definitely going to invest yeah in fact kenya from now from the day i stepped in is yeah. already my second home and you know, it's absolutely amazing that you're yeah. talking about investing. Now, a popular question that has always been put out there is the fact that Nigerian actors are living big out of acting, yeah. out of, you know, taking part in the film industry. Yeah. What would, you, what would you suggest Kenyan actors, or rather the Kenyan film industry, to do better in order to, you know, upgrade the state of Kenyan film? and have better paying jobs in the film industry? Yeah, the only thing I really need to tell them is, the world is our stage. Mm -hmm. There is no limit to creativity. I'm not saying being in your country, country alone is not good enough. Mm -hmm. Step out. If, I, if Mishi didn't come to Nigeria, I wouldn't have seen her. Yeah. You understand? You might be doing amazing here, but it's not good enough. People need to come. Okay, let's just say Nigeria now is like, okay, okay, okay. You need to come. Yeah. We need you. We need the collaboration. And then work on your craft. It's not just good enough to say I'm an actor or an, an actress. That's what a lot of people do. No. Put in money into yourself. You are a brand. Don't forget that. Work on yourself, your craft. Like own it. Mm -hmm. It's your world. And believe you me, if, I, if anybody see, if a good filmmaker sees a craft, he knows. He know he or her knows. Mm -hmm. And just don't feel relaxed. You've not even done anything. You've not gotten to anywhere. We need to Hollywood. Yeah. We need to step Hollywood down. And if we, if we are determined about it, we can do it. Because this is Africa. We are unique. Our stories, these guys are taking our stories and putting it in their ways. While we are here, no, let everybody should just let's do something. Let's do something. I actually feel very inspired by you know, <laughs> by how well you've put it. Thank you. And I know it has not been an easy journey. You've experienced challenges and you've also experienced you know some of the great moments. Yeah. Um, would you describe one of your best moments in the film industry and you know when it came to filmmaking? Okay, um, I have so many best moments, but the time our old lady has actually been winning awards even oh. before coming. Uh, so the the first time I got an award. Mm -hmm. Uh, with Oledo was like a dream come true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so beautiful moment. And again, uh, he, this film making something gives you opportunity to meet people. Yeah. To meet people like, to like be brother and sister to store. Like example, uh, someone like Daddy Peter Edoche, mm -hmm. on a very good day, it's small me. Mm -hmm. But movie industry made it possible. Yeah. So these are very nice moments. That, and again, like I'm here now meeting great people. Mm -hmm. So these are very great moments that I don't joke with. Yeah. I'm very grateful to God for, for the opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. So, you know, while we get to sum up the interview, um, 
when we started the interview, we talked about some of the Swahili words that you've known. Yeah, yeah. Now, let's go to, you know, very um, interesting topic. Okay. Foods. <laughs> food, food of Kenya, because culture is different. I know food I from see. Nigeria, <laughs> um, one of them being fufu, and I've actually eaten fufu. some fufu. You've had fufu? I've actually really? had fufu. Really? Yes, and it's amazing food. I also know mm -hmm. about jollof rice. Mm. Have you learned or have, have you had the chance of tasting some Kenyan food? I have been eating Kenyan food since I came. But the yeah. problem is I don't know if I can mention Pachi sometimes. I don't know the chapo, name. Chapo, it's Chapo. Chapo, yeah. something like I've been eating <laughs> a lot of Kenyan food. Yeah. It's just that they don't have pepper, chili. Yeah. So the last time I came, I experienced that. But then coming now, I had to come with my pepper. Mm -hmm. So one thing I noticed about uh, Kenyan food is once they bring it, don't you close your eyes and put enough pepper, it will go down. <laughs> it will go <laughs> That's down. A good one. <laughs> yeah, put enough pepper, you yeah. know, chili. Yeah. Then before I've, I've started enjoying it, at first it was, huh, what's mm. this? What's that? So, yeah. but now. And have you actually tasted ugali? Because yes, a lot of people say that, you know, it tastes like wax. People who are not from Kenya, it, it, no, it has no taste. Even the look, yeah, but, but just like I said, <laughs> once I put my chili, yeah, I'm eating it and I'm fine. Yeah. Africa is the same. Mm -hmm. If you look at the sauces where they they, they process this food from, it's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. So we, I just have to get used to it. Yeah, yeah, I just actually, have to get used to it. Yeah. Well, my director, he's called Kevin Karatu, he's actually reminded me to ask you if you've had a taste of nyama choma. It's actually barbecue from Kenya. Fish barbecue or no, I'm not it's sure. I've beef, had it probably. Mm -mm, I don't. I'm not sure. Maybe I've eaten it, but the name. Yeah. I would really love to taste it if I see, but um, I don't know if I've had it on. But I've had a lot of a lot of Kenyan food. Mm -hmm. The the one that comes in form of a bar. Yeah. The rice part of it. The mm -hmm. sauce here in Kenya they use tomato to cook soup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It is, it is an yeah. amazing interview that we're having with um, a Ooh, filmmaker as well as an actress. She finish. goes by the name Infinity Ebere Ohake. Oh, shout out. And, you know, um, she really wants to have a few shout outs. So yes. let's, you know, have a listen and shout out to the people back yeah, at home yeah, and yeah. everyone who's watching. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So um, I want to do a very wonderful shout out to my wonderful friends that I have here now, my, my Uganda friends, the mighty family. Oh my God. The love is too much. These guys are taking very good care of me. Mr. Sammy, shout out to you. Them back, uh, shout out to Ila Franklin back in Nigeria. I love my artists. I love my artists. Shout out to Daddy Peter Doche. Shout out to my girl, Rachel Okoko. Shout out to everybody. We made it from here and we're still going to all the places. But especially my manager, <laughs> Chief Black, Chris Black. Love you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for taking good care of me. And I'm very grateful. Then to this television channel, I'm so grateful. TV 47 Kenya. Whoa. I love you guys. We'll do a lot of this. Trust yeah. me. We'll do a lot of this. My artists are coming. We are, this, we're just starting. The tour is, is going to be fire. And I'm bringing them to this place. They're going to have interview here. Thank you so very much, and I love you. My name is still Infinity Bero Hakwe, one and only. Thank you. Absolutely well said right there by Infinity Ebere Ohakwe. She's made the interview very, very interesting and absolutely lit. But unfortunately, we've come to the end of TV47 weekend tonight. Yeah. Well, despite the fact of it being absolutely lit, I tell you what, it's about to get absolutely turned up. Because Beat Club Extra is coming up next with Uncle Marcus, 